What is going on, all my gamer guys and gamer girls? My name is Gamer Guy 611, and welcome to Dauntless. This is a game that I have played off screen and off YouTube on my own on my Switch, and I got it on my PC because I love this game. Phoenix Labs, if you wish, you can sponsor me for one of my videos. I will rep you guys because you guys, are, you guys made an amazing game. All right. So I am here to make a video on the new season for Dauntless because. A little bit of backstory for this. In the game, there is this thing called Escalation. For those of you who don't play the game and don't know what, much about the lore or anything, there's this game mode in it called Escalation, where basically you go on a bunch of different islands that are sort of linked, and you fight random behemoths. And if you get a certain level, I guess, you get to fight like a big, bad, like, boss behemoth. There's three of them right now. There's Shock, Blaze, and Umbral, and Terra will be coming in the next season update. Uh, the Umbral Escalation Islands, they were found out to be on a crash course with Ramsgate, which is basically where everybody is, like all the NPCs and stuff. And basically, one of the NPCs, Arkan Drew, had an idea to take this big device thing that we found out was able- that they found out was able to create portals and stuff. So what we had to do was we had to basically get corrupted Arcanite, get it off of it, so that way Arkan and everybody on Ramsgate could be safely teleported off of Ramsgate, to avoid the collision and be somewhere else. And this is what that new season's about. There is a whole new Ramsgate. There is a whole new season. There's a whole new battle pass and weapon transmogs and everything. I don't know about a new behemoth or quest or anything like that. But I'll give it a shot. <laughs> also, if you please... No, also, if you notice, my voice is a little bit different. Maybe it's a bit louder. Maybe a bit quieter. Maybe a bit more on your right than on the left. That's because I got a new desk. I got in myself a new desk and my microphone, as a result of me getting the new desk, had to be put more on the right. My microphone had to be put more on the right side of my desk instead of the left. On the left one, on the last one, my last desk, my microphone was put over here on the left. But now because of the new one, I had to put it over more on the right because my new desk has little hooks. One of them I use for my, conveniently, fit my Oculus headset and my Oculus is over here on the left. So my headphones had to be put more, I put my headphones more on the right than the left. So... Yeah, my microphone had to get moved over there because my headphones are actually plugged into my microphone, which is how I'm able to hear my own voice through it. And for those of you who saw Babel's live stream, because he live streamed Fortnite with me the other day, and Fortnite crashed for no reason, thanks Epic. Basically, whenever I get close to my microphone, however loud it is for you, it's equally, maybe even more loud than it is for me, for you, than it is for me. It's like if I get more and more close to this, like I'm right next to my microphone, this probably hurts my ears more than it hurts your ears, so yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna hit play. We're gonna get into this new season because I'm hyped! Ooh! When times grow dire, a brave soul might say, Well, it's not the end of the world, but unless we can pull off a miracle, it will be. Ooh. It wasn't easy to bring the relic back to See? our city, but now I can't take my eyes off of it. The portal driver. If I'm right, it's our only chance. God, there's a ship on fire in the back. Here goes nothing. Ooh. Oh my God, Rams it. Remind me to open my eyes when it's over. We've made it to our new home. And lost the old one for good. R.I.P. Ramsgate. You'll be missed forever. Rebuilding the city won't happen overnight, but here, Rome was built in a day. Won't just live; it will thrive. We've survived the darkness. That brave soul was right. This isn't the end of the world. It's the beginning of, of another one. Nice. That was cool. So they built like a new Ramsgate and everything. That is so cool. And they had like a little motion cutscene. That was so awesome. Phoenix Labs, you outdid yourselves. I don't care if you had to postpone it by a week because of the problems and stuff. This is epic. Basically, everybody is safe. Wills Borman, uh, Moira Hegskater, Arkan Drew, hopefully Zayla, the Far Slayer. Everyone's fine. That's nice. I even saw that Moira grabbed Hector, the little turtle. I saw... Oh... Oh, so you gotta buy the Elite Pass in order to get the Hunger? Oh, that kind of sucks, but whatever. Yo! 
This is sick. Look at this. What is this? Old E. Oh, this is the new... Oh, this is how I go hunting and stuff. Okay. That's cool. No, didn't mean to do that. That's so cool. There's Moira. Moira and... Oh, that's nice. You guys are right here together. Hello, Slayer. Hello, Moira. So I got all my armors and everything. I don't think there's any new ones. No new behemoths or anything. At least not to my knowledge. See you again real soon. So that's nice. Wills Borman and Moira Hagsketter. I don't know how to say it. They're right next to each other. That's nice. Granny Strega, you are definitely new. Yes, dearie. Okay, so you craft tonics and stuff. Where'd Marcus go? I wonder where Marcus went. Daily Void Relics. Neato. So this is so cool. A whole new Ramsgate. This is so... I'm nerding out over this so hard right now. Don't mind me. I'm going to go running around looking for void relics right now. I'll cut back whenever I find something cool. Marcus, my man. What'll it be, Captain? Very good, Captain. Aw, oh, you don't do anything cool? All right. Yeah, there's a sword rework, too. The sword got a rework and stuff. Explore the bazaar, smithy, and beyond as you seek out soaring visas. Savor zone-specific music. Nice. And say hello to Granny Strega, Ramsgate's newest resident and tonic vendor. Okay, so she sells tonics now instead of Marcus. The hunt pass, the sword rework. Yeah, Valor system. I read about that on the Reddit. By the way, for those of you who are wondering, uh, go if you're a fan of this game and you're not on the Reddit, go join the Reddit. Because the Reddit is cool. Like, the devs are on there, they'll react to things, they'll comment every now and then. They read, they read the things, okay? Two mods and amps are available. No. Corruption immunity, that's nice. Planner voyage, or planar voyage. A mod that makes stepping into portals a good thing. Huh. Okay, for those who are wondering, um, Thrax, one of the boss for the Umbral Escalation, when he got Aether Charge, which is basically like another... Like, like a boost to all his powers and stuff. What he did is he tossed like portals on the ground and stuff. So, and they just strun, they just throw you about somewhere random on the map. Arcan! Oh, nice. So, Scarred Master, Arkan Drew, and Admiral Zai are all right over. Ooh. Here's the middleman. Hello, Mr. Middleman. Can I go in here? Neat. Is that a grenade? I'm gonna go ahead and say that's that's clipping through the box. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's a grenade. That's a cell core. Not to be confused with the portal course. Huh. So that's one of the Okay. Keep an eye out for these, because these places is where those little daily XP things spawn. Alright. So where is uh Ooh, Etherfang? Boosh! Katarin! Hello! Time we talked. There's Katarin. What's this? What this? Aether batteries. It's no exaggeration to say the humble Aether battery is the technological breakthrough that transforms survival in the Shattered Isles. Almost overnight, life outside the large population centers like St. Avalane and Ostagard went from an agonizing and ongoing struggle for food, water, and shelter and safety. Technology like two-way radio and powered flight were renewed and reborn. Real power could now be carried about in a package no larger than a Krolakai gourd fruit. Don't know what that is. Bosun Marcus usually has a drawer full of them. Nice! So I can go around grabbing lore and stuff. Neat. These guys here at the bar. The thing. Another eighth, another eighth event back here. New phone, who this? Ah, Lady Luck. All right. Hi, I'm listening. For all you newcomers who don't know anything about Dauntless, this is the Trials Store. What you do is you go and try. Ooh, new mods for the sword. You know. 
basically what you would do is there's an extra mode once you beat all the behemoths at least you once go, you are able to fight in the trials where basically every week you fight a random behemoth so, uh, like you can even fight Malkarian. I fought Malkarian in the trials before and beat him before. Basically, you just fight a random behemoth who's even tougher than before. Oh, cool! So I can just stand here and look around at stuff. That's neat. Yeah, see, that's where the trials take place. Trials Square has been added to your journal. Nice. So basically, there's a lot of stuff here I can do. Nice little landing ground. Can I jump off? I can jump off, apparently. Alright, whatever. Enough of being an idiot. Let me grab some bounties. Pardon the interruption. That's fired, whatever. Oh, yes. Uh, nice. I got a gold bounty on my first day. Look at that. My hands off. All right, so basically bounties, I'm going to explain a lot of things for those who don't really know it. For those who don't really know Dauntless. And if you don't know Dauntless, if you don't play Dauntless, get this game. You are missing out. Basically the new Monster Hunter. So, basically, everyone's in different spots and stuff now. That's nice. Ah, I heard that music change. Basically, you just, like, run around and, like, go do things. Hello, Rams. Hey, butt me, bruh. Bonk. Yes, you can do that in this game, and I love it. The portal driver. Ah, Dr. Priani. Hello. Quest, you give me. Do this. Dr. Priyana needs your help to learn more about the Void Runners. Yes, the Void Runners, that's a whole thing. That's another thing for Laura. I can't really get into that. But basically, they're this old civilization that was able to use, like, umbral technology and stuff. They were super advanced. They had way, like, technology that way outdated ours because it was so much further ahead. And one of their things was the, the, portal, the portal drive, which got us here. Collect Void Runner Lantern cores. All right. Let's focus on what's important, Slayer. Knowledge. Specifically, the secret knowledge of the Void Runners, of which we have but scratched the surface. But our new environs present an environment uh, present an opportunity. My field teams sent word of what appear to be Void Runner lantern cores on many aisles in the vicinity. Yes, they too use lanterns. But that's about all our culture shares with theirs. Farewell and good luck. Thank you. Hello, Portal Driver. You got us here. You saved us. For that, I am grateful. I'm stuck. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Doink. Gotta keep my eyes on it. Gotta keep my head on a swivel. Keep grabbing these. This is so cool. I love this. Phoenix Labs, sponsor me. Zayla! Hi. You did survive. Oh, it's you. Talk fast. Hello. Don't wait around here. Yeet! Yeet! Put the coin in the fountain. How do I go? Where's the fountain? Doink. Cat and Sorel. Cat and Sorel is like in a... Boop! I want to go on the ship. Let me on the ship. No, I'm not saying... I gotta say it. I gotta keep it PG-13. I'm sorry. I really don't want to swear. I really do not want to swear. I want to keep this PG, but but Kappa and everything, I gotta keep this PG-13 or else in the future when I get monetized, this is not gonna make money, but no, that was not me saying shit. That, I, even though I just said now, I was saying ship. I want to get on the ship. Let me on the airship. Oh, eh. Ram. Don't fall off now. Hmm. Neat and everything. Just go in here. Let me see if there's anything different. Nope. 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 Yeah, nothing. That's neat and everything. 
Where's uh ooh. Little video thing, a little cinematic. Race? You can race what? Oh, I am so gonna do a race. That's a, that's a screenshot right there. Oh, I wanna do that again and I'm gonna have a screen. That is gonna be my new screen. That's gonna be my thumbnail. That right there is gonna be my thumbnail. So there's all that and everything. What is this? I wanna see what this is. Race. Oh, collect all the wisps to win. Hmm. That's probably something I'll be better at on Switch. Because, yes, I, like I said, I have to... Ooh. Oh, this is the fountain. Boing. Boop. That was cool. They, oh, that's how I get my login cores. All right. This is the vault. For those, for those who are wondering what the vault is, the vault is a place where you can go in... Ooh. Ooh. Neato. I'm gonna need more vault coins for that if I... Man, I shouldn't have spent... I shouldn't have bought this, even though I like Maximum Aether Punk. Okay, either Spine of Anarchy. Spine of Anarchy looks nice. And... Or Fractal Mind Lock. Where do I get this? I want a banner plant. For those who don't know what the vault is, the vault is a place where you can go in, you get these vault coins. Prestigious currency accepted only at the vault. Where basically the vault is a place you can go in and you can get things that were in past seasons. If you didn't get them before, you can buy them here, but only with vault coins. And the way you get vault coins is by upgrading, is by going even further than the 50 levels that are in the Haunt Pass. <gasps> All right. I'm not gonna lie, I thought those looked pretty dinky when I first saw them. I didn't like them, but seeing this in game, I like it. I like all of this. Show me the pass, Gregario! Survival go- Oh, Doggo. Get a doggo. Ramsgate Reborn. Nice. Whoops. Nice. See? You get Vault Coins in some levels during the Hunt Pass, but you get one again. You get even more for... See? You get more for going 100%. There's that. Perfection hair tint. Oh, I get a lantern that looks like a whip! That's cool! Alright, do dee do de do Precious cargo. Oh, is there anything I missed back here? Nope! Yeah, platinum is basically the, like, gems in this game, for those who don't know. Ooh, gold Carcosa die. I am definitely gonna use that on my my shock build, my shock outfit. Ooh, yes, I like. I think. Oh, I didn't look at the. Did I look at the sword? I want to see the sword. Nice. That looks cool. That's all the lantern. Let me look at this hammer. Hammer boy. Driven pathbreaker. Ooh. Wait, what are these called? Raging Trailblazers. Arc Rigged Cutlass. Nice. These guys, Phoenix Labs, you do make some pretty good weapon names. Paranoia. Hell Cutter Glaive. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that said Hell Cutter. Ooh, Flare. True Lodestar. Shadow play. Umbral deeps aren't quite finished with Ramsgate yet. Ooh, Ramsgate. Ooh boy. Looks like they're attracted to. Ooh, there's two lantern transmogs. Universal glyph breaker. That one looks cool. I might equip that. Jumper up. The slayer doesn't make time for cardio. They're not going to be a slayer for long. You got that right. Old fashioned blasters. Ooh. I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, when I first saw the like concept art for these, I thought these were pretty dinky. But now seeing that in game, I think that's pretty cool. Nice. Ooh, yes, banner. Raiders flags. Oh, that's so cool. Plus this little like thing here it has a very like Nasher armor vibe to it. Pneumatic fist cuffs, absolutely not approved for use by members of the Ramsgate. Pug 
Pugilists Club? I don't know how the heck to pronounce that. It's probably for the best. Yes, because those are covered in spikes, and you're probably going to kill one of your fellow slayers with that. Not bad. I guess that's also traversal, given the fact that his feet are moving. Ooh! Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da. <laughs> this is very Indiana Jones derived, I can tell. The hunger. Okay, so for those who are just new to the game, the hunger is a sword, a very overpowered sword that you can only get by fighting a top tier behemoth called, like top tier late game behemoth called the Shroud, I think. Or you'll probably just get it from anywhere, I think. But you, but it. In the old days, if you got that if you got that blueprint and then got the materials to build it, you could just craft the hunger. And what the hunger does is you gradually like lose health, but as you but, but as you but you do more damage and part of that is used as life steal, meaning you'll gain health for attacking. Right, let me see this. Ooh. This is very nice. Very very nice. I love this. Lose your grip, lose the ship. Pilot's Axiom. Nice, right, so I like this. This is cool. This is very, like, um, Aviator slash Indiana Jones mix. I, there's a touch of Indiana Jones. Because, like I said, there's this, which is just like the Indiana Jones classic scene where you get chased by the boulder. Just... Ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba -da. And there's also, like, the whip and everything. And like you're cracking a whip, Indiana Jones used a whip. It's got a touch of Indiana Jones there, but not entirely Indiana Jones. But regardless, I do like it. Can I buy the pass? No. Yeah. So for those who wish to buy the hunt pass and are new to the game and wish to buy this, you can either buy the hunt pass for 950 platinum or about 10 bucks, or you can buy the elite hunt pass for about 25 bucks. Which is actually better, because if you buy the bundle, you automatically get the sword and the chain blades and some emotes and stuff like that. And you, because you skip 15 levels. You get 15 levels for free, just like that. Frostball fashion suits every slayer. Yes, and this is the store. Now what the store does is what you can do, you can buy platinum here, you can buy, you can buy lantern transmogs, you can buy skins, you can buy, wait... Oh, I thought those were the- I thought those were Torgadoro skin stuff. Ooh. Very nice. What? Nice. They also do a thing where it's like you gotta- Sometimes you gotta go through every single gun, because I think you haven't seen it yet, even though I've seen this many, many times before. Phoenix Labs, it would be nice if you fixed that. I mean, it's not really that big of a- it's not really that big of a thing, it's just annoying, because this happens, like... This happens, like, 95% of the time when I come back from a hunt. I'm just here, and I'm seeing all these, even though, like I said, I've seen them all a thousand times. Like I said, you don't really have to fix it, Phoenix Labs, it's just- it would be appreciated, because this can be annoying. Alright, so that's all of that. Alright, now to do one of the other things in this game, opening up cores. Now for newcomers, what cores do is you open them up and you get cells, which can be used to give you benefits, or daily login ones, which can be, give you just a random assortment of things. Like right here, boom, ace chips, which can be used to speed up times for cell fusion. Boom, rams, which are basically coins. Pylons, and a patrol chest. Pro patrol chests, they help you out with things. Like, getting more Arcstone, and getting more Aether, and things like that to help you upgrade your armor faster. But you have a limited amount of them. Alright. This statue's cool. What is that? Is that supposed to be like the first... I, I would assume that's supposed to be like the first Slayer or something. That's nice. I like. Yoink. Set seven. What you gotta do is you gotta look out for the blue twinkling stars of them. 
Alright. So, I'm also going to give a bit of a rundown for people who are new to Dauntless. So, the middleman, right here. What do you read? Eventually, you'll get access to cells. And what cells do is, like I said earlier, they give you a random assortment of things. Like, like after avoiding damage, you get a little shield with fortress. And Assassin's Vigor gives you more health after you break a behemoth part. And things like that. And what behemoth parts do... I don't really want to run through it down, to be honest. I mean, I want to help and everything, but... It's kind of a nuisance to have to go through everything when everyone will learn it. Learn it. But yeah, just, I'm just telling you, please, please play this game if you haven't already. This game is very, very fun. It just got a really big overhaul with the new season and everything. Just get it. Now. Ooh, what's this little bit? This is nice. Old E. Curious lily peg. Ah, yes. Perfect for a frog. So cool. So basically, you gotta really look at everything for more lore and stuff. Right, can we butt heads? Headbutt! Bonk! Whatever, I can't find it. I can't find the other two. I'll find them eventually. Because there's a lot of things that blow blue. That, that glow blue. There's a lot of blue glowing. I can't tell what exactly would be the daily XP giver and what would not. Where are these other two void relics? Whatever. So where do I have to go? Do I basically just have to go through the escalation and stuff? No, not map. Uh, okay, so eyes inventory. You can also tell I played this game for too long because I have all the boss weapons and stuff. I have all like the boss like like armor and transmogs and things. So that's that. Oh, is that P is pass. U is that quests. Here we go. So basically, I just gotta go into the umbral thing and just get that. Hmm. All right. Whatever. At least I get the show off escalation. Do I have to go 10 through 50, or do I... Could I just go 1 through 13? I guess I'll just... I guess I'll do 1 through 13. I'll do that. Private hunt. Alright, so I'll show you guys. For those of you who don't know. Escalation work. Whoosh. God, I had the wrong armor on. Crap. Alright, whatever. Do that. That would be my... Whoops. Adversary. Anezaga. Right there. That big boy right there. Ooh, he sounds very cool. Cannon on him. Hey, buddy boy. Up my DPI, up my DPI. Yeah. So that's the thing my weapons can do. My weapons are called the Twin Suns. And these are can only be obtained at the trials. <laughs> if I dodge attacks with that, with that, I do a little spin move and I do damage. And I can also get close and if I reload close enough to him. I get empowered, meaning I do more damage. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nay, nay, I think you got yourself an overhaul with like sounds and stuff. Or maybe it's because I'm on computer. I'm gonna go with the fact that I'm on computer now instead of Switch. Alright, here's the big thing with Twin Suns. This is what makes it so good. Thump, 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 thump. And boom, boom, boom. check this out. Yep, I have bombs that I shoot out of a tiny little mag. Out of a tiny little dinky gun. Bam, just like that. You are dead. Not big surprise. 
How do I sheath again? X. Right. How do I get lantern cores? Should I just be looking around and I'll just find them randomly? I'm gonna do that for a bit. Or maybe it's like the portal driver where it's like I have to wait till after round two. Do the, the thing. Maybe I gather it here. Corruption. Ooh. Oh, I got the new one off the bat. Look at that. All right, let's see. Immune to corruption status. Entering a pool of corruption absorbs it, granting 15% damage and attack speed for 10 seconds. Only one pool can be absorbed at a time. Okay, so that's really better for Thrax, the big boss behemoth of the Umber. Oh, no. Scrape and a Shrike. The Burb. Burb boys. What Thrax does is he does an attack where he, like, he, like, hooks up bits of corruption, like Umbral Aether. And if you step in it, you get a debuff called Corruption, where basically you're slower and you constantly, like, lose health. But with this, if you have Avatar of Corruption and you go up against Thrax, that's my bomb. That's my mag bombs refreshing. So if you have Avatar of Corruption, you can basically just walk into the little pool and it'll buff you instead of debuff you. It'll be good instead of bad. Whatever. Still good for something like the new Umbral Behemoths. So how escalations work is you just go through random behemoths and after that, every, every round, you get Amp, which is basically a little buff that helps you out. But but the even numbered rounds, you have to fight two behemoths. Ooh, Lantern Core! Give me! Nice! So I can just find it between rounds. Neato. Even numbered rounds like this, you'll have to fight two behemoths at once, and sometimes it can be annoying. That helps. So here's the thing. My lantern, even though it doesn't look like it, ha is also from the Trials store. If you press the F on computer, if you press F once, it launches a cannonball. But if you hold F, and the lantern hold ability can only be done by doing enough damage, you drop a bomb on him. And that can interrupt certain attacks from certain behemoths. What interrupting does is like a mini sort of stagger state. All right, whatever, let's do this. Even though I'm probably gonna get my butt kicked. Ow! But the thing is, with Escalation... Ooh, that's good. With Escalation, the deal is, like I said, you get random behemoths. So you can't really tailor your armor, which having good armor is good. Because you'll do... You'll have elemental bonuses. It's like Pokemon. Having a fire weapon against ice behemoths does more damage. But wearing ice armor is bad for you because you'll actually take more damage. I mean, wearing fire armor is bad against ice behemoths and etc etc like i said it's like pokemon you got to use elemental buffs and stuff and this what the scrave is doing he's in enrage mode meaning he's just angry mode he's an angry mode meaning he has more attacks and stuff and some behemoths it's just like meh they're angry now so what other ones Ooh, that's a cool little charge up that got an overhaul too some behemoth oh i'm frozen no 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 get out Get out, you dipstick! I hate fighting Scraves. But when they're enraged, some of them get new attacks and stuff. And it's just bad time all around. What just happened to my camera? See those... See, here's another thing for you new players. Those blue numbers is stagger damage. Do enough stagger damage. Oh, I got an idea. Watch this. Ah, dang it. I didn't interrupt. See, those different numbers mean different things. Yellow numbers mean I'm doing part damage, and getting parts from Behemoths can help you make better armor and weapons and stuff. See, like, right there. I know all of you veteran players of Dauntless. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you stuff you already know, but whatever. Up on the new players. I don't want to be an asshole. Oh, wait, I just thought of something. Now that... Now that we have the portal driver, like, is it actually gone? Gone from here? Or is it, like, something different? You know? Lantern core. Yeah, it's gone! We actually just up and took it! That's theft! But we needed it. And the, it, it, the void runners are dead, so. Ooh. I know what you are. I have you. Whoops. 
I know what you are. You're a little bonus in the shop that you got for buying a bat. You got for buying a pack. Splitting umbral and spitters. But that's not fighting a drask. See? Ooh, did Drask get new music? Or have I, or have I just been a, or have I just been a dipstick and I just not noticed music that much? Yeah, for you newcomers, the Drask is basically like the I'm a fire my laser because as you just saw, he shoots laser beams of electricity. Ow! I dodged. Come on. Oh no, it's bitters. Go back. Oh, go back to the Boreas. You guys can be annoying enough with the Boreas. Ah! Ech. Here's another thing about my weapons. Oh, you is a dead man now. I know it's not gonna be my last. What the Twin Suns do is, also for those of you who are our players and don't have the Twin Suns, get the Twin Suns. What the Twin Suns do is, while I have them in the mag mode, if I dodge and I do the little spinny thing, I launch two extra mags. I launch two extra bombs, when usually I only fire eight. But if I do that without the bomb mode, I just take six little mini shots that don't really subtract from my ammo. Excuse me. I got the lantern core. I got three on this run. Actually, I think I can only get three because even if I were in 10 to 50. Ah, see. Rage Tail. I've got no more behemoths on the scanner beyond this island. This is your final battle. This time. See that? For those of you new players who are only able to do 1 through 13s, that's important because you realize, oh, I have, I could possibly get more behemoths, but how do I get one? How do I get more behemoths? Well, that's the thing. You have to be in 10 to 50 mode. And here we go. Ba -da 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 -da. See what the Skarn does? He has rock armor. And that's the Na Nasher's shtick. At least the Rage Tail Nasher's shtick. He has his little thingies. They're annoying. And this thing is a bomb that if you don't get rid of, it will take you down to one health. Which I got, thankfully. Alright, Skarn, I hear you, buddy. You're not getting that much love. Have my love! Here's another thing you're noticing. You'll be, you might notice. See their health in the top right? The Skarn is at half health. Now quarter health, but he was at half health and he just now entered enraged mode. While the Nasher, he's at a he only went down a quarter health and he's in enraged mode. See that's the thing. Every behemoth has like an let's say alpha. Like an alpha behemoth. The Rage Tail Nasher is like the alpha version of the Nasher. An alpha ver and like the alpha versions of each behemoth. It's like Oh no. What is this in front of me? What is this texture bug? Ah! See? That little belly slide move? The regular Nasher only does one of those. But Rage Tail, as you saw, he did four of those. Oh no. See? You can't escape the bomb! It's like a tactical nuke. And now I'm at one health. I got the heal! You heard it! You heard the whoop! Oh. People, please don't do this. This is cheap. But I got rammed into a corner, so... I have an excuse. There, 
Alright, so you're dead. Claps! See? All escalations can help you in many ways. For example, you get a lot more parts. Meaning you can get- meaning you can upgrade your armor faster and better and all that. But also, you see this? There's a level system to this. You- the more, um... The tougher the escalation gets, the more charged aether you get. And the more charged aether you get, the more levels you go up. And when you reach more levels, you can have things like, um, like a patrol chest will give you five, like, five arcanite, or five, like, five bonus arcanite, or five bonus blaze aether, or five bonus shock aether, or whatever. And if you hit level 25, which is the max, you get the cool armor. You get a cool armor thing like me, which is the one you get for the shock escalation. You saw all of them earlier. Yeah, whatever. So I got all, that's all that. Now, bounties. See? Bounties. See, this is the, this is my hunt pass XP. You do bounties to get more experience for your hunt pass, meaning you level up faster and things like that. But, you have a limited amount of bounty tokens, which you can earn more and more by through the battle pass, or using, ooh, or using, uh, platinum to buy more of them, etc, etc, etc. But platinum costs money, and I don't want to spend a lot of money on this game. But buying them all isn't really that bad. For example, you can get cool things like hunt, like arrivals and stuff. Which my arrival was that portal thing you saw earlier. You can get like skin, like you can get, you get like skin transogs and things like that. Over, you see, for example, you get this. You get that cool lantern right there, or you get this cool skin and like this plat, like this banner and things like that, or like you get like a Terminator style entrance such as so or like there's all of them give you different ba all of them give you different things and stuff for example a hundred dollars you get 1400 platinum plus all plus this armor that banner and that and all that banner stuff and emotes and titles and things like that i want to okay see here's the behemoths you got yourself a nasher which is this guy you got a Rezakiri. Which is this dude, he's an umbral behemoth, and he's basically a dragonfly looking thing. A quill shot, which is a, a hybrid between like, a boar and like a porcupine and things like that. But it can shoot the quills out of its back. Got a shroud, which is the endgame umbral behemoth. Not counting Thrax. Got an Azaga, which is a dude I fought earlier, which is basically like a shock version, sort of, of the quill shot. He's like quill shot. But not exactly. And there's Drask, the other dude I fought. And the Drask does have an alpha mode, but the Phoenix Labs, the game devs, are working on him right now. They're giving him a rework and stuff. So he's not in the game just yet, but he will be. Then you have the Boreas, which is like the, the first, like, ice behemoth you'll come across. You got a Hellion. And I'll stop me swearing, his name is literally Hellion. Which is basically this big dinosaur thing that it's, uh... Basically, the, um, the alpha version of the Hellion called the Scorchstone Hellion, he, he just hurls up lava. Like, he's just there, he's like, Bleh! he'll just start throwing up lava. And you got the Ember Mane, which is basically the first behemoth. Actually, he's like the second behemoth you come across in the game. But he's like the first blaze behemoth you fight. Pangar, which is a frass, uh, which is like the ice, it's like the frost equivalent of the Hellion. Shrike, which is a little burb. Koshai, which is probably the most annoying which is the most annoying Terra slash Earth behemoth there is. Skarn, the dude I fought earlier. A Charog, which is like a lizard thing that has fire jet sacks that it can like it has sacks that can shoot fire out of. Valamir, which is the first radiant behemoth you come across. A Karabak, which is like this big bug. A Rift Stalker, the first Umbral Behemoth you come across. Oh my god, I just realized he has his paw on a Slayer. I thought that was just a rock. That's an old, that's a Slayer. They got the Storm Claw. Other, which is probably the most annoying of all the Shock Behemoths there is. Scrave, the most annoying Ice Behemoth there is. And then these three right here are the, the Escalation Bosses. You got Malkarian, which is, which was probably supposed to be, yeah, see look. He was supposed to be a myth at the heart of the Maelstrom. But apparently, it, he was like one of the first behemoths 
they ever like the first behem the first slayer that's like the first one he ever fought and it was supposed to be a myth in the game's lore then there's this dude torgadoro this dude's basically just giant flaming gorilla and he's the end boss of the flame or the the blaze escalation then there's thrax which is this uh insectoid thing see this big insectoid thing until this horrific species returns to the void and stays there ramsgate slayers must prepare to face the mighty void worm within the umbral depths and if the species threads across the shattered isles yeah, so that's basically all the behemoths in a nutshell. All of them, except for, obviously, these three down here, the boss behemoths. Um, all of them have an alpha, like, upgraded version, except for these three down here, uh, Rift Stalker and Valamir. They basically just have, like, an upgraded version of them. Rezakiri, Shroud, and Koshai. He also has, Koshai also has a, uh, like, beefier version of them. But... The Rezakiri, the Shroud, the Drask, yet. The Koshai, Valamir, Griftstalker, and these three down here don't have, like, beefier versions of them. That's kind of just it. Ooh, Granny Strega. Yep, that's her. Oh my gosh, you guys really did. Ooh, Aether batteries. Yep. Perfect. Or frog. Yes. Oh, so I can just go around looking at other things. Let's look at the visas. Dock entrance. Where every Slayer begins their next journey upon their return to Ramsgate. I want to take a picture of that. I, like, I'm actually going to take a picture of that. Hold up a sec. I need to like search out a, how to take screen clips. Snipping tool. Ah, oh, whatever. Whatever. Trial is square. <laughs> yeah, see... A nexus in Ramsgate, where bold slayers gather to face Lady Luck's Island of Trials and prove they're the best of the best. Because, like I said, those ones over there... Ooh. Relics and Ruin. This was when... This was, like, the last update. This is when the Umbral Escalation first came out. Clear Skies. Oh, this is the new one! The Clear Skies update. This was the new update. I gotta find the uh, lore for that, which that'll happen in the Battle Pass and things like that. Oral info. Yeah, see? Here, I'll tell you about things like combat. Like stamina, things like that. Mounting behemoths, things like that. Basically, like I've been saying over and over and over, if you do not have this game, get it. It is free on the Epic Game Store. They get updates like crazy. It is so, 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 so fun. You'll, like, if there's not a weapon you won't find that you like. Like, there's not one weapon you won't like. If there's, if there's a weapon in here that you don't like, move your butt to another... Move... Like I said, I don't really want to swear, but I kind of have to. Move your ass to another planet. Hector the Turtle. Moira's tongues. Will's smelting pot. Yeah. As I was saying, I'll just stand right here in front of the little, new little fountain, or er, thingy. Like I was saying, if you do not have this game, please get this game. It is for free on the Epic Game Store. It doesn't really take up that much space. They can get it on, you can get it on PC, you can get it on Switch, you can get it on Xbox, you can get it on PS4, you can get it on a lot of things. Just please get this game. Unfortunately, there's not a mobile version, and I don't know how to be able to get it on mobile if I'm being completely honest with you. But please, just get this game. It is a blast of a time. You will be playing it for, like, hours on end at a time. You will find some really good people. There's fun, there's a ton of fun modes. And there's a new update, like this. There's a new season, the Clear Skies update. With a, with a rework for the sword weapon, a whole new battle pass, a whole new Ramsgate. This is amazing. Get your butt here. Now. Uh, I'll probably record some... I'll probably record... As of me recording this, this is the day that it comes out. But, tomorrow, Benny slash Babel... Not able to play today, but he'll be able to play tomorrow. So I'll probably record a little bit of uh, Dauntless with him tomorrow. But yeah, this is a bit of an overview. Uh, so I'm just going to do my little outro thing. Maybe here, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I'll probably do it tomorrow, so that way it's easier. Whatever. But yeah, so far this has been my reaction of the new Clear Skies update in Dauntless. And as of me recording this, tomorrow or Friday... 
the 31st, yeah, the 31st, yeah, 31st of July, Babel will be able to hop on, and we will be, able, and I'll show him the new update and everything, I'll show him around, show him the new Ramsgate and everything, because Ben, Ben has not been playing Dauntless for that long, he's been playing for like a month or two, I've been playing since like late, since like December of last year, I've been playing this game for about a half a year, and I have not, I like, I haven't gone a day where I haven't been playing it, where I haven't been logging on, grabbing vault coins, checking, like, just going in and just having fun, because this game is, like, just, it's just so much fun, I'm nerding out over it so much right now, please, Phoenix Labs, if you're watching this, I want you guys to sponsor me, because this is such a fun game, I love this game, I would, like, if you guys gave me some sort of, like, like, I'm sure I might even get an epic code. You guys could maybe use my epic code down the line. But please, Phoenix Labs, sponsor me. I don't want to be a beggar, but please, I love your game. I'd be able to sponsor it. I'll be one of, I'll be one of the people that reps it. I could do like a whole video down the line that shows people the basics of the game and things like that. Just please. Uh, just toss, throw some bo throw some bread at your boy. Anyways, yeah. Enough of me begging and enough of me nerding out. I'm gonna do a little bit of a clap cut, and this will, sh and it'll cut to the reaction that Babel has tomorrow. So, past me. We'll see you guys there. See ya. Okay, guys. Here I am. Here's future gamer guy. Here I am. Way later than I should have put this video out. As of me recording this little after segment, it's August the fifteenth, and I know I should have. I've been procrastinating this for a super long time. I've been putting it off. I've been slacking with it, but for some, but for some reason. My brain just wouldn't let me do it. I've been procrastinating with it. I've been pushing it off. And for that, I want to say I'm sorry. I know I should have put this out way later than I should have, but my body just wouldn't let me. I procrastinated with that. And I've kind of been known to be a procrastinator, but I'm trying to cut down on me procrastinating a lot. But, uh, yeah. Um, after editing down that footage that you saw before with me and, like, showing off the escalation and everything like that, it was like an hour long, and even after editing down things that I thought should have been put in there, it's still like 50 minutes long. So as much as I love to put Benny slash Babbles thing in there, I kind of can't because it's, like I said, it's 50 minutes. I don't want it to drag on any longer than it should. Benny, if you're watching this, please forgive me. But, yeah, I'm really sorry I couldn't put Babbles reaction in, but I just wanted to know, I just wanted you guys to know that he liked it. He was super amazed by it. He was super, like, he was just, like, jaw-dropped. It was just dumbfounded by it because he just thought it, it's just so good looking but yeah um as of me recording this is the footage is like 50 minutes long and it's probably going to be a bit longer with this but i'm going to try and make this super short but after i'm done editing this and put that video out i'm going to play the henry stickman collection which is basically just all the old henry stickman games like breaking the bank uh, stealing the diamond, infiltrating the airship, games like that. They've all been remastered by Puffballs United, and there's a new one as well. I got that the other day. It's 15 bucks on Steam if you want to get it, it's, which is actually really good for all the old games remastered plus the new one. And yeah, I'm, I'm about to go play that. I'm going to start back. I'm going to go in order of release. I'm going to start with Breaking the Bank, and then I'm going to eventually end with completing the mission. But yeah, this has been my overview of the Dauntless clear skies update which is super good and it's just like i've been saying before if you don't have this game please get it it's very very good and anyways i'm gonna play henry stickman collection maybe make a few videos off of those i'll probably put breaking the bank and see like breaking the bank and escaping the prison and probably sealing the diamond in one video or something like that or maybe i'll live stream it on twitch because i have a twitch but yeah so this has been the clear skies update i've loved it phoenix labs you did a great job with all this. And yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video, which is probably going to be the Henry Stickman collection. And eventually, I want to tell, tell a thing with another video update, because I haven't done a video update in a long time. And maybe I'll do a video saying how I got my username and all that. But anyways, I've been babbling on for too long. This has been GamerGuy611. I'll see you guys in the next video. Game over and out!